Well, I think my favourite thing about Christ's is probably the community feeling that it has. The size in terms of students is the perfect size, I think, um, compared to other colleges, you know, not too big, not too small. It's sort of as soon as you get there, it's like you get to know people really well straight away. And you get to know quite a lot of the people in college, like, you know, the majority of people when you're walking around. Whereas with other colleges, it can sort of feel so small that it's a bit crowded. Or on the other side, you can see like hundreds and hundreds of people that you don't know on like a daily basis. So I think Christ is like a nice sort of halfway house. It's like a nice balance in between the two of those. There's lots of mixing in between year groups. So you don't just get to know people in your year. The people you meet will make such a huge difference to your university experience. And the people that I've met at Christ have just been amazing. And they've helped me so much with getting through my first year. Um, and everyone is just lovely and that's it makes the college so much more welcoming and so much less intimidating and it just means that you can't walk through college without saying hi to people which is really nice the second best thing quite close is probably the location so it's really close to a lot of the important things and how because it's right in the center it is such a central college we have no accommodation that's very far away from the city center and this means that it literally takes me a few minutes to get to class and this really saves your life when you have 9 or 10 a.m.s. It's nice to all the clubs, all the supermarkets. So we're close to all the shops, all the restaurants um, and also close to my first year lecture theatres. So like your lectures and stuff will be really easy to get. To. You've also got a college cat which is called Rocket and he or she definitely competes my favourite thing. So the age of accommodation at Christ's really varies. The older buildings in first, second and third courts have um, older rooms. Few of them are en suites. However, the rooms are still very nice. New court uh, at the back of college has modern rooms and most, if not all of those are en suite. All the rooms are of good quality. Um, and if you have any problems, the accommodation office is always ready to help. Um, overall, 40% of accommodation is en suite. Um, however, even if you don't have an en suite room, there is never a queue for the shower. So before turning up at Christ's, you'll be given a form to fill in various accommodation requirements. Um, so that might be like the size of the room, the price that you feel comfortable paying for it, um, whether you'd like it to be quiet, whether you'd like an en suite, um, those kinds of things. Um, that might be important to you and then the college will kind of try and allocate you a room that fits with the requirements that you've specified. Most of the accommodation is on the college site however in second year most people will live um, on college owned houses on Jesus Lane which are about a five minute walk away from college. Lastly the accommodation at Christ is very affordable Rent ranges from around £3,000 to £4,500 per year um, and considering that the Cambridge average is around £4,400 per, per year that makes Christ one of the most affordable cottages to live in. So you can kind of choose how much you want to do self-catered and how much you want to be catered. We have something called Upper Hall which is a cafeteria style place to eat. Upper Hall works on a pay-as-you-go basis so you can use it as frequently or infrequently as you want. Most students probably take one hot meal in there a day. I go for, for dinner at the end of the day and it's really nice. And you generally buy one main and you get unlimited sides with that main. The sides are so varied, you, there is literally any type of potato you could dream about. There are There's rice, pasta, vegetables, um, lots of different options. And every day there's a vegan option, a vegetarian option, there are meat options. Um, they've got a really broad variety of cuisines, like it's not just like a British roast dinner. Um, they've also got uh, more interesting things, they often have stir fries and curries. It's got pretty good value for money and it's also a really good place to socialise with friends. So for lunch I usually ended up going there after lectures with a lot of the other medics from my year. Uh, and I'd often meet up with some friends to get dinner at Upper Hall, so it was really a place that I found to be very useful for socialising with people and also just relaxing or having done any work that day or you know after a particularly challenging lecture it's always nice to sit down with friends in upper hall and just have a meal relax and just talk uh there's also the buttery where you can get like sandwiches and paninis um, and i really like that if you want like a quieter lunch and then there is also formal hall so that's different from upper hall it's essentially a three-course candlelit meal um, in the great hall in college 
And again, that is also very affordable. But it's actually really cheap, it's only nine pounds for a free course meal, and that is waiter service. So I very highly recommend it. It's a, it's great for birthdays or celebrations and something special to do. You can also cook in the kitchens that are in your accommodation, so people quite often do that as well. Every room in college gives you access to a jip room, which is a small kitchen with Modern induction hobs, a small fridge, microwave, kettle and toaster are all provided and although the kitchens can be quite small, there's plenty of space for you to store all your pots and pans. So Christ has a medium sized library. I think the study spaces themselves are quite nice, they're kind of cosy and they have like lights built in that you can use and there's plenty of sockets for charging laptops. If you don't have your own laptop, we also actually have, I think, possibly six or seven computers that students can use. There's also a small group study room at the back, which is a nice facility to have for group projects and things like that. What I personally really like about Crest Library is the fact that the seats are very comfortable, that it's very warm inside, and that it's very, very close to coffee shops or cafes. We also have really friendly librarians that are always happy to help um, and they work kind of generally nine till five um, midweek. They will process any book requests you might have. So basically, if you need a book and it's not available in the college library, often the college will be prepared to buy that book and basically put it in the library. Finally, I think Perhaps most importantly, actually, the library is really, really quiet and nobody will disturb you when working. So it's really the perfect study environment. I think at Cambridge, the work-life balance is really what you make of it because there is the opportunity to attend lots of social events, go to various like parties, go out, go clubbing, go drinking. Um, but nobody's going to force you to do this and if on the other hand you want to really settle down and you know devote yourself to work you also have that option. So Christ does have a reputation for being quite an academic college but in my first year I didn't experience this negatively in terms of the social side of things. Um, it still meant that people were willing to go out, go out for meals and chat and I found it to be a really supportive and warm environment. For most of the term there's always time to go out, relax, play sports and do whatever you want to while getting all of your work done. Um, what I really like is the fact that you can like mix and match and have some days which are just study focused, some days which are just social. And I think the fact that you live with so many of your friends means that having a social life is much more accessible than it is, for example, where I come from in Adelaide, where we have to travel long distances to see each other. The JCR, which is our student, uh, kind of like our student union, they put on, I think, three box, which stands for big organised parties, a term. Um, and almost every weekend there is, there's some kind of event going on, which you can go to. Christ has a really wide range of activities you can get involved in, so lots of different societies. There's always something to do at Christ. So we're actually the college that is closest to almost all of the clubs so I think four of the five clubs of Cambridge um, are all like a minute's walk away from Christ. Another great thing about the social life here is that there are non-drinking events and more relaxed events always on offer which cater for everyone's preferences. You can do literally whatever sport you want to be honest so all of the classic tennis, football, rugby, netball. I joined the college boat club to row and also played some college cricket and rugby. I played um, some college netball and some college lacrosse, even though I'd never played lacrosse before I came to uni. All of the college teams are very welcoming and they make it easy to get involved, even if you've never played the sport before. So throughout this year, I've had the opportunity to row for the Christ Women's First Boat. Um, I'm also a choral scholar, so I sing regularly in the Christ Chapel Choir. There's also a lot of music. So in terms of the classical side of things, there's the orchestra and there's the choir. And then in terms of more contemporary stuff, there's Christ Voices and the Jazz Ensemble. So it really doesn't matter whatever play, whatever instrument you play, sorry, you can join a group or you can set up your own sort of group. Christ is quite good for that in terms of meeting people who would also want to be playing in smaller groups as well. There's so many different societies, whether feminist society or board game society. There are also arts and crafts. And a constant stream of organised events and parties. There's always something to do, which makes it easy for you to go out as much as you'd like. Yes. I think anyone who says they weren't worried about anything before they came to uni, or especially before they came to Cambridge, is probably lying. 
I was quite worried that I wouldn't meet people that were kind of like-minded. I wasn't really sure where I would meet people. I wasn't sure how easy it was to uh, meet people when obviously, you know, uni is a busy, busy experience. Um, it's a very different experience. So I was, I was worried that I wouldn't click with people. I think one of the main things I was worried about was that I wouldn't fit in with the kind of Cambridge type person. So I thought everyone would be quite earnest, take themselves too seriously, and I just I wouldn't. I think I was particularly worried about stuff like making friends and um, kind of fitting in. I was worried if I would fit in or not, um, would it be too different to where I was from? Um, but those worries soon subsided because Christ is a very friendly environment in college. So. I found that that kind of perspective changed very quickly because especially in Freshers Week and kind of first term, everyone is in the same boat and everyone is trying to make friends and everyone is, is kind of confused and doesn't really know what's going on. Well, like I've laughed so much over the first year. And I have to say that after like a couple of months, um, I definitely felt like I like like I had a place. Um, I sort of threw myself into stuff that I hadn't really ever done before. Such a variety of people. Everyone is their own special type of crazy, and regardless of who you are, you will find your people. There's, there's literally something for everybody. Um, any sort of crazy club you could think of, that it's probably there. So Christ is really beautiful with a range of places to relax. The Buttery is a cafe during the day, selling sandwiches, snacks, Costa at 20% off retail price, and it turns into a bar in the evening. I've been to uh, the Christ College gym quite a lot to relax. Um, I I'm, I'm, I'm quite like um, exercise as a way to de-stress, uh, and I use the college gym as uh, my place to do that. There's also a 16th century chapel, uh, which is just a place where anyone of any or no faith can go for somewhere quiet. The Fellows Garden is one of my favourite places in Cambridge altogether. Um, it's such a great place to kind of contemplate the fact that you're at Cambridge and also just to kind of step, take a step back from work because you can go in there and completely lose yourself in the college's beauty and I think that's such an important place just to kind of relax a little bit. Another thing I ended up doing was going to the Fellows Garden with friends quite often actually. We'd usually just sit outside and just talk, let the world go by around us forgetting whatever deadlines we had, admittedly. But at the same time, it was a really good way to de-stress and just relax. Then at the back of college, there is the Yusuf Hamid Centre, which has got a range of rooms that I'll take you through. There is the TV room, which has a TV and sofas and can be booked for events or used freely by students. There is the JCR, which is a room that essentially any undergraduate can use freely. It's got TV, games console, table tennis table, pool table, um, and a range of other forms of entertainment. So I spent the whole of open day just essentially being lost and confused in Cambridge, had no idea what was going on on like how to choose a college. They all sort of felt the same to me. And then the last one we went to was Christ. So we walked in and the first thing you see is first court. And it's so just like picturesque. They had wisteria like climbing up the wall. And I was like, hello, like this, I could sort of see myself here. And then we went into the buttery and they're like, oh, would you like a chocolate biscuit? And I was like, Yes, yes I would. Also, can I live here? I chose Christ because when I went to visit on the open day, I really like the, like the friendly vibe that the place gave off. It also has a really central location, which means that you can get basically anywhere within a matter of minutes. Firstly, I had visited it on a summer school, so I was actually at a summer school at St John's, but we visited Christ for a day, um, and I just instantly fell in love with it. The people were lovely, so welcoming. Um, and then I also just fell in love with the college itself, like the architecture, because it wasn't too big, it didn't feel intimidating, it seemed quite quiet and cosy and was kind of tucked away from like the bustle of Cambridge and I just, I really liked it and it felt like it was the place for me. So I chose Christ for a variety of reasons. First of all, I thought that it was a beautiful college from the gardens to the buildings, it was a really nice environment. Um, but from a more practical point of view, I thought that the accommodation was a good quality and was also very affordable, in fact, one of the most affordable places to live in, in Cambridge. Well, I hadn't visited any colleges prior to my application to Cambridge, 
And there was a few reasons why I chose Christ in particular to apply to. So one, I liked the location. I liked the idea of being very central. Um, so I wouldn't have to commute too far to any lecture theatres um, or anything like that. And another thing that appealed to me was the history of the college. So I liked that it was quite old, that the buildings were quite pretty. Um, that was something which was quite important to me for when I was applying. I chose Christ's for a variety of reasons. Um, when I came on the open day with my mum, we were really hot and sweaty and tired. Um, it was a really hot day. And in Christ's, they were so friendly. All the students were really, really nice. They gave us a drink and it was the nicest tour guide we'd had all day. And Christ's was seemed like the perfect size. It was sort of medium sized, a year group of around like 120. So you really get to know your year group. It was really centrally located. Um, and it was beautiful and it just sort of seemed to tick all the right boxes. 